Ami, amito, oh, nice Amito, I was waiting. Uh, amite, I was waiting for you to reply. Well, I live in the West Bank uh, for my whole life, and the only problem has been always terrorism. When they, when there is nothing bad happening, they Palestinians uh, at our lands, and we buy at buy at their shops. As soon as Hamas or any other terrorist group start, we react, and because we have a, an army that easy to make it look bad no amita you live in the west bank you're living on stolen land like literally the united nations the world has agreed that settlements in the west bank israeli settlements in the west bank are illegal i know you've lived in the west bank your whole life which is problematic because zionists for decades have not abided by international law and they built the settlements there and there are people that are born there now right so they created a problem specifically for this purpose to use you as cannon fodder to go kill palestinians why because your forefathers were foolish enough to decide your ancestors were foolish enough your parents your grandparents were foolish enough to decide that it was okay to go live on stolen land and have children and allow their children to be brainwashed to be programmed to believe that that is your land and that means you have to defend it and when the israeli government comes out and says hey go kill palestinians the palestinians want to kill you because you live so peacefully on this land then you pick up your arms and you defend yourselves against the people that you stole the land from right I know it's a difficult thing to wrap your head around because this is nothing on you, right? You were born into this quagmire. And this quagmire was created by the Zionist agenda. What is the Zionist agenda? They want to take the, over the Great Levant, right? It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. Let me tell you, and how can you take land from someone if you bought it? what bought it when the 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 government comes and taxes the shit out of you tears down your olive trees brutalizes you expels you right right now in canada check this out uh, amite I'll, 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 when you say and this is a perfect thing you brought up and how can you take land from someone if you bought it check this out right now in canada jewish organizations are selling land in gaza they're selling land in gaza they don't own the land they don't own the land but they're selling palestinian land in gaza because they know what the agenda is because the zionist government the zionist agenda is to expel people from the land and say there's nobody living there and the nobody's living there is is israel owns it controls it so they sell it and canadians canadian jews right now are buying land in gaza and there's an incident where an arab canadian wanted to go to this sale to be able to buy one of the pieces of land in gaza they didn't allow him to go in there because he wasn't jewish so you bought the land your ancestors bought the land but what were the conditions set in place for your ancestors to buy the land were the palestinians expelled and the government comes out and says oh nobody's living here so we're going to put it up for auction and only people that can buy that land are jews look in your history it's fucking dark. Emite, they don't pay taxes, and actually, my tax money is going to them. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Emite, look into the history. Look, Norman Finkelstein. Norman Finkel. Can someone type the right spelling for Norman Finkelstein? Here, here, here's four Jews. Four Jews you should read. Gideon Levy, Norman Finkelstein, Max Blumenthal, Aaron Maté. I'll give you five Jews. 
Gabor Mate as well, Aaron Mate's father. Okay, five Jews. Read five Jews. Okay, okay. Thank you. Fire. Okay, I work with them. I know. Do you know? I live here, bro. Dude, you live in a bubble, right? There is a theory in mathematics. Okay, the incompleteness theory. Check, check this out. This applies to anyone that's living in a totalitarian nation where information is controlled, where censorship is up the yin yang, where you don't know your own history, right? There's a theory in mathematics. It's called the incompleteness theorem, like incompleteness theorem, I believe, right? Where it says a system cannot, uh, cannot, uh, I gotta use the right wording, cannot uh, analyze itself to find out if there's anything wrong within the system right so a system closed system is not complete to be able to find out if that system is has any flaws in it you have to look at it from the outside so you say you live in that system yes you're surrounded by like-minded people indoctrinated in a centralized indoctrination center propagandized through centralized institutions so you think you know what's happening i'm telling you to look at your system in in the right light to really understand what's happening you have to look at it from outside the system right and the five people i gave you gideon levy is an israeli journalist lives in israel okay the other four gabor mate his parents were holocaust survivors uh norman finkelstein uh, his parents were holocaust survivors Aaron Mate, his grandparents were Holocaust survivors. Max Blumenthal knows a shit ton about Israel and the Middle East. I'm telling you, look at it from outside the system. I hope you see the light. I hope you see what's going on. Because where you're going as a nation is fucking dark. It's darker, where, darker than where the young Turks went when they committed genocide on our Armenians and it's darker where the Nazis went, where they committed genocide on your ancestors and others. Okay. Wake the fuck up. You're doing an injustice to your ancestors that were genocided. They're rolling in their graves, looking at you in Israel to what you're doing to people in Gaza and they're fucking shitting on you. Okay literally it's vomit inducing as an armenian as as someone who has studied genocide who has looked at what the young turks the ottoman empire did to the armenians and having jewish family members knowing what happened in the holocaust i'm telling you fucking dark you guys are fucking dark it is so fucking dark nazis and the young turks are rolling in their graves they're like fucking girl scouts compared to you guys man it's dark i'm going to read your comment amite when you guys saying genocide what do you mean that we execute people we systematically murder you do more than that you do more than that look into the history look into what's going on